Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Happy Tuesday. So let's get right into it you guys. I just received a load. Looks like this load is a live load and a live unload. Not too far from where I am, 84 miles away to get to the shipper. And then we have a 452 mile run to get to the receiver which is in Atlanta and that is on the first which is tomorrow so tomorrow by four o'clock in the afternoon uh, is when the appointment is for this place um, so from Tampa Florida to Atlanta Georgia you guys and currently I'm in Orlando so says we are uh, says I'm going into a high theft area so to make sure I am safe all right you guys so yeah that's what we're doing today I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today and I want you guys to just remember that um, no matter what you're going through if you woke up in your right frame of mind if you woke up with your health if you woke up <clears throat> with your health and your right frame of mind then you are blessed anything else material wise we can always get that but a, 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 a loss of mind you can never get that back um, you know very bad diminishing health it's hard to get that back so if you have those two things you're blessed alright you guys so I'm about to head out um, once I get to the shipper I will check back in per usual once I get to the shipper um but yeah you guys uh until then I'm gonna head out let me go it's called Tampa Cabot Crossing okay I'm gonna make sure it says my appointment is at 12 but I'll be there way before 12 so hmm. looks like I'm going to be checking in early then. Alright you guys, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Go, go, go. Hey guys, so finally got my paperwork and everything. I had to sit in the lobby. This is the first shipper that I've been to where they don't want you sitting in your truck while they're loading it. Like, you literally have to go sit in the lobby, so. That's fine. I did have a snack. Well, I had a couple snacks. Three of them. Nutri-Grain bars, the apple cinnamon kind. And they are so delicious. Right now, I'm just putting in paperwork off of my BOL. Like, the weight. How many packages is on here then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna this thing is acting up all right you guys let me do that I'll come right back all right completed that paperwork she said the um, the, uh, what is his name? I guess he's waiting for me to pull off. Y'all, let me go ahead and pull off. Because I don't have time for having to fight somebody. Let me go ahead and pull off. Out the way, at least. One of my doors of my trailer is crappy. It's, it's, yeah, it's like really bad. Like it keeps opening up and it's like, I hope it's not open right now. Uh, 
Alright you guys, so just wanted to check in. How many copies do I have? I got one. Oh, I have two copies. Right. And one is for security. Oh, I have three copies. Hey, next four is in there. you guys so i slid my tandems and did everything i needed to do so i want to catch you guys once i get to a gas station which shouldn't be too long from now i'm i'm close to half tank so that's kind of when i prefer to get gas when my tank is on half so but i'm gonna try to get out a little further out of florida first before i get gas but whenever i do get gas i'll check back in with you guys and yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace out. You guys, so currently at Love's, um, I only have an hour and 29 minutes left on my 14 hour clock, which means I am really cutting it close. So I'm waiting for fuel. Then I'm gonna run in there really, really fast and get me a Subway sandwich because I have no food to cook. I might order Instacart. It just depends on, um, how much time it just depends on how much time i'll have left but um i mean not how much time i'll have left it just depends on if i feel like it y'all i'm just trying to focus on multiple things at once but um yeah so i'm gonna run in here and get me a subway sandwich pull up run in there cough is water down i have to use the restroom so bad but there's a rest area that's 14 minutes down the street so I'm going to aim for that rest area and hopefully they have parking. It is only 434, so hopefully they have parking, you guys. Yeah, um, I should have ran into the store while my truck was fueling to get my food, but I was thinking, like, I don't got time for no BS and a truck going behind me and making a fuss and all that. Oh, let me go get my gas. Hold on. All right, you guys, so... Y'all are seeing me in full-blown rush rush mode. Never moved this fast before ever in my life as far as trucking is concerned. So, I got an hour and 29 minutes now. So, y'all, we, we really, we are really trying to move. Like, I'm really trying to hurt here. See this? I made it with 58 minutes left on the clock. And if you look at my parking spot, it's not really a parking spot. But it's alongside other tractor trailers. I just finagled me a parking spot right here. So I see truckers do it all the freaking time. I had no other choice because I literally can't go further. So, guys, um, trying to give me a little thumbnail. I'm clawing, trying to be more intentional with these thumbnails. Anyways, so um, I managed to get gas. Um, I need to pee. Well, use the restroom so bad. I got my sub sandwich. I got everything I need. 
I'm in sleeper, so let's see, five, 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 five for five, 12 hours, so three, three in the morning, I'll get my hours back, but my appointment time isn't until 4.30 tomorrow afternoon, so I will be here for a long time. You guys, I also might order, I might order Instacart. I'm just reading um, the all the messages. Oh, they're they're actually they actually just sent a message out regarding something called Tyre Nichols. I guess that's a black man that got shot by a police officer or something like that by black police officers. So they're just making us aware that if we're if we have a route. Um, if we have a route to Memphis, I guess that's where it happened at, that they'll, uh, give us like a route around Memphis so that we don't have to go through Memphis, but I don't have to worry about that. I only do Southeastern region. So thank God for that. Just reading through my messages that I didn't get to read through because I was so busy driving today. I'm curious to know how many miles that I drove today. You guys, do you want to see my sandwich? I'm going to show you guys my sandwich. And there's a fly in here. Oh, I know that's loud. I'm about to get off of here with you guys. But there's a fly in here. He needs to get out. Let's see how, my, how many miles I drove today. Because I've been driving since 3 in the morning. Not, wait, I lied. Since like 4 something in the morning. I drove 546 miles today. This is the, I think this is the record for how many, for, excuse me, the most miles I've ever driven in a day. And I drove for a total of nine hours and 46 minutes and 15 minutes on duty. So that's close to a whole 10 hour day, you guys. Roll this back up. But yeah, you got, oh, let me show you my sandwich real quick. And then I'm going to use the restroom, eat this sandwich. I already wiped my hands down, so I guess I can take the first bite on here. And then I need to respond back to my little brother. Because he wanted to know. Mm. He wanted to know all the ingredients that I put on my sub. Because I got me a sub made and let him taste it. And he fell in love with it. So I got to text him that. Tuna sandwich. That fly is still in here. Okay, you guys. Talking with my mouth full. <clears throat> so inappropriate that's why i don't eat on camera but okay guys so i will check in maybe later if i do an instacart delivery or something just spontaneous that requires me to check in if not you guys know how it goes i will talk to you guys in the morning when i get up but yeah you guys so i will catch you guys later bye Hey you guys, so I'm checking in. It's still the same day and everything. Just wanted to come on here and share something that just happened to me. So, I don't like Atlanta. Um, anybody who knows me know how I feel about Atlanta. I feel like Atlanta is like... Okay, you take a pile of shit. The stinkiest shit ever. And you carefully mold it into like a nice looking donut, right? And then you get like one of the most professional bakers or cake makers or whatever you want to call them to take that molded piece of shit to add the fondage on it, to cover it, to make it shape nice and have that. You know how some cakes have like that nice uh, fondage, I think that's what it's called, fondue or fondage that's on it that gives it like that shape 
So you, you, you shape up the shit, make it pink or something, add your, your sprinkles, your cream, all that, drizzle some syrup and caramel, you know, and it just looks like, oh my gosh. So everybody who walks past, they're like, oh my gosh, that looks so good, right? But if you, if you know about Atlanta, then you know about Atlanta. So it's like, if you know that that's really some shit, it, it don't matter how pretty it looks, right? So I say all that to say, in a nutshell, that is Atlanta. And I don't like Atlanta. There's literally, the only thing I like about Atlanta is the food. I will say that Atlanta has a lot of good food. That is the only, only, only thing that Atlanta has going for it. Anyways. Atlanta is built different. I have never had this happen to me. I've been trucking for a while now. I have been to over 25 to 50 different rest areas. And I can honestly say that this has never happened to me. So I basically got scammed. I don't know if I should call it a scam. So I had just finished eating my sub in here and a guy walked up to my truck. So, I was thinking that it was another truck driver, possibly, but upon, like, rolling down my window, it became very evident that it wasn't another trucker. So, basically, he gave his story on how um, he's trying to get to LaGrange, Georgia. I've been to LaGrange, <clears throat> like, driving through. I think I may have had, like, a load there before, but I'm not super familiar with it. So, he was like, hey, I'm trying to get back to LaGrange. Me and my wife were low on gas, my kids, like, gave me this whole little story. So, I didn't feel anything in my heart as far as sadness for him or anything or for his situation. That's just so many different life experiences have kind of taught me, like, don't just give my sympathy out or don't just give that access to my emotions out. So, when I heard it, I was kind of like, okay, like. So it was like, do you have anything you could spare? So I don't keep cash on me. I do everything digital. So I was like, hey, do you have a cash app? So I just send him $25. I feel like $25 is decent enough. It's, not, it's definitely not too much. And that's only a, a small fraction of what I actually make. So it, it's not going to hurt me. I'll see that quintuple more than that. I'll see that again, $25 or whatever. So, after I cash shopped him, he gave me his cash app name and stuff. I had this thought, being being raised Christian and around, you know, having Christian parents, I've always been told two things. You never give out money that you are going to miss, like that you need. That's one thing. Second thing is, when we bless people, we don't need to worry about whether or not they're telling the truth. Or they're lying because if we worried about that, it's gonna eat us up and it's not as genuine, right? So after I did it, I'm like, you know, I did have a moment where I was like, eh, he probably was on some bullshit, you know. People just assume truckers got money and truckers, if you're trucking correctly and you don't have a lot of responsibilities, then yeah, you should have money if you're if you're good with money management. So I'm like, hmm. So I didn't think, I really didn't think about it being a scam. I thought about it more so like, hmm, like, you know, but I didn't think I got scammed. But I would say about 25 minutes later, another car pulled up. And this time, a car pulled up driving alongside this area. Let me see if I can show you guys. So, along this area, so... He was driving along this area. Got to come from back here, though. Back that way. And then you drive up there. That's how you get out. So, anyways, um, another car came through. A minivan. And in a minivan, there was a guy. Um, I'm presuming some kids and a woman in there. And I guess they're just, like, looking to see who's sitting up in their truck. Like, if your truck is running and you got your blinders, your you know your shades up they're not gonna bother you of course but of course right now it's relatively early i'm not going to sleep right now plus my appointment is until four um tomorrow afternoon so 
I'll be up chilling for a while. But, um, so I haven't put everything up and everything. But, um, you know, he noticed me, so he was, like, flagging me down, like, pointing at his gas and, like, doing this, like, like, can you, like, you know, like, kind of mouthing he up, and I'm like, that's the second person, and within, like, 30 minutes. So, after that happened, that's how I came to the conclusion, oh, I got scammed, you know? I likely got scammed. Maybe that's just a hustle that people do, like, in Atlanta. Because, like I told you, Atlanta is built different. Like, the people here, their morals, the things they'll do for money. Just, I could go on and on. It's just on a whole different level that I have personally have not witnessed anywhere else. And I've driven all around the entire country. So, um... Yeah, you guys, so that just happened to me. So I just say all that to say, y'all, be aware of scammers. Um, you know, just be aware of scammers. And, you know, it's true that if you bless someone and you bless it from the kindness of your heart, then you will be blessed tenfold. That's true. That's not just biblical that's just kind of how the universe works, right? Whatever we put out, we tend to get back in return. But just be careful and don't let people use you. Because they're like, hmm. That started making me think, like, so this is just a hustle y'all do. Like, you know, make sure there's a woman in the car. If not a woman, make sure there are some kids. Drive around. And if you see a truck driver, lightly tap your horn to get their attention. And kind of ask them, like, can they give you some money? So that you can, you know, get where you need to go. Allegedly. Because you already have money. But, you know, whatever. So, um, yeah, you guys. Anyways, just wanted to come back in to talk about that little experience there. But, um, I'm probably going to go in a rest area very shortly. Probably in the next five minutes to go wash my face. Because this humidity out here is still humid. I need to turn on my truck and turn on the AC because it's still pretty humid out here. And I'm in Atlanta, Georgia now. Well, I lied. I'm in Macon, Georgia. Not, am I in Macon? I think I'm in Macon. Either I'm in Macon or I'm extremely close to Macon. I'm about 80-something miles out from Atlanta. So, anyways, you guys, I will catch y'all in the morning. Unless I have something else spontaneous to bring back on here. Catch y'all later. Peace. Hi, you guys. Good. Oh, it's not morning. Good afternoon. So, it is the next day. Let me lift this camera up a little bit. So, it is the next day. Ooh, I'm feeling like... Um, I'm kind of like back in high school. But I'm looking like real cute. On the, on the first date back to high school. Anyways. <laughs> y'all, so good afternoon. Um, So I did tell y'all that my appointment for the receiver wasn't until 4.30. But I did get a message from not my fleet manager, but somebody in the fleet department asking me to get there 30 minutes early. So 3.30. It's only 12.30. It's going to take an hour and 30 minutes to get there. So what is that? 12.30, hour, 1.30, 30, 2 o'clock. So that means I'm still too early. I got to wait a whole another hour and 30 minutes before I can even leave. So I sent a message like, hey, is it possible that I could go ahead and leave early? Take it there early and they'll, they'll receive my load and stuff and I could just get up out of there. No response. It's risky only because I've already mapped it out. There's no rest area nearby that area. There's no loves nearby that area. That's like the kind of ghetto Atlanta area. And I'm not about to chance it and have to park at a Petro or, you know, one of these ghetto truck stops and stuff. No, baby, no. I'm way, way too uppity for that, all right? 
So anyways, um, I did end up ordering Instacart. I got me a few things, so I'm feeling really good. I got me some salmon. So tonight, your girl will be able to make her some salmon. Y'all don't understand how happy I am about that. Now, y'all know I love my coconut jasmine rice, but the lady said they didn't have any coconut jasmine rice, so she just didn't give me any replacement. But it's fine. I have one bag, well, one Uncle Ben's bag of basmati rice up there. And then I have two cups of jasmine rice, like regular jasmine rice. So that'll last me at least three days. So we just gonna make it do what it do. But for now, you guys, I'm about to eat me some fruit cups. These are cocktail fruit cups. Some of my favorite things to eat. Let me see if I can get me a thumbnail. I might not even use that as a thumbnail. But yeah, you guys, I just wanted to check in and say hi. Um, I'll definitely come back on here when... Uh, I can't promise that I'll remember to come back on before I leave here. But definitely, once I get to the receiver, I'll definitely check back in with you guys. But until then, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my fruit cups. Chill out. Watch some Judge Judy. Wait. It's not... I don't watch Judge Judy. It's the white lady. I forgot her name. But watch the white lady. Not the not not the white lady with the blonde hair, the white lady with the short black hair. I love watching her episodes on YouTube, y'all. I can watch them all day. So I'm about to get back to doing that. Chilling out. Just taking it very easy. Very light. Very easy. So that um I can retain as much energy as possible. And if I feel tired, then I will um, go back there and get me a little sleep. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to catch y'all once I get to the receiver. All right, peace out. Hi, you guys. So as you can tell by the previous clip, I have officially made it here to the uh, receiver currently backed into a door they haven't started unloading my trailer yet it is 3 23 and my appointment is at four o'clock so i think i got here at like 2 50 but between like checking in and all that stuff we're now at 3 23 so um once my trailer has been unloaded i will come back in and close out this vlog with you guys you know you guys know how it goes by now but until then i'm going to find something to do i might actually go ahead and cook my salmon right now since i got a little bit of downtime and it's 324 so oh lord and i'm on on duty let me put myself off duty but yeah um yeah, you guys, I'll come back and check in with you guys um, once my trailer has been unloaded. Okay? Bye. So, you guys, it is 421. My appointment was at 4. And I've been here since 250. So, that's an hour... 0, 10, 20, an hour and 30 minutes that I've been sitting here and still not getting unloaded yet. So, that's the update here, you guys. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm still waiting. So, whenever they finally, finally unload me, then I will definitely come back and close out this vlog. Just wanted to update you guys that I am still waiting. Now this is a first. I think I could confidently say I have yet to have been to a Coca-Cola warehouse and had to wait over an hour to be unloaded. But I did just finish eating. I had to improvise because I didn't want to 
cook my salmon and my vegetables and rice and get all full and I still have to drive a considerable amount of time. <clears throat> so I just uh, got me uh, my Uncle Ben's basmati rice and a pack of tuna and ate that with some Caesar dressing and it was delicious. I'm not gonna lie, it does have me a bit like, ooh. But I know it would have been a lot worse had I ate everything else I was gonna make initially. So, <coughs> excuse me, you guys. So yeah, you guys, I'll be back. All right. All right, you guys, so as you can see by the previous clip, it is 4.30, so 30 minutes after appointment time, I guess, is their protocol. But um, they're now unloading my trailer, so we should be out of here shortly, okay? All right, you guys, so um, let's see here. Um... Just okay. I did get pre assigned a load, so um, all right, you guys, sorry about that. Um just got my paperwork, so I'm trying to get everything figured out. But um, yeah, that concludes this vlog. So, per usual, make sure you guys stay tuned for the next vlog, which is coming literally right after this one, okay? So, I'll talk to you later. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like share, um, whatever you want to do. I appreciate it all. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next vlog. Peace.